Hey, what's up everybody? This is Beat the Bush and today we're going to fix a cracked iPad screen. Right here, I'm repurposing this neck cushion thing. This serves as the heating element so that you can heat the adhesive a bit so it can get a little softer. I bought this stuff, came in this cardboard thing. The screen looks like this and it has like cable. When I look at this, I'm not really sure this is original material or did they just look at the screen and try to uh, redesign it themselves. You know, there could be differences between the performance, so we'll see. And it has the cable right here, and on the front and back there's these adhesive protection here, so that you won't get your fingertips all over it. So you remove it right before you want to close it at the end. It wasn't clear when I bought this that it came with adhesive. I thought I'd just reuse the adhesive after I softened it. And it also came with some tools. Um, we'll, we'll use this and see. So I had this heating thing on this iPad for a while now, so let's try to pry it open. I guess I'm a little impatient and I just wedge it in there. I really didn't pry it this way that much. I think maybe it wasn't softened enough. And I was just trying to shove one of these picks in there and then it, it just cracked. Instead of using this heating thing, I'm gonna use the heat gun now. After breaking this corner where it's weakest, I'm starting to get the hang of it and uh, it's weakened a bit. I think I like this uh, heater much more than this thing because I don't want to keep on microwaving it, running back and forth. So this one I can just heat it a bit. Now I'm going to use these plastic cards, pop up a few pieces and uh, insert them in here as I go along. There's a Wi-Fi antenna somewhere right here from one inch to two inch at the bottom right. I'm gonna be careful around that. It's actually pretty easy now after this initial run. So you see this one has a cable right here so I'm gonna match it up, try to not sever that cable. If it's cracked just slightly, it's better to not crack it some more it seems because you can see it has, I can just go around very smoothly but then when I reach this crack, I can't go on anymore because it's still stuck. I need to somehow get in there. This is the entry point and I use one of these spudgers to dig in here. There's like a little plastic lip between aluminum plastic and then glass and then I shove that in there. You go straight down and around the corner and then around this thing you come out, be careful around this one and then you go around the home button with it fully inserted and then you go around this connector and then keep on going straight and then around. And then for this camera, you go around the camera too. You gotta heat it up pretty good and it came off pretty easily after I heated it. This kit came with these screws. Apparently I have to remove this thing. Apparently I bought the wrong screen because this thing is a different version here. Well, I'm gonna try and shove it in there anyway.
So this cable here, I just folded it funny. It didn't fit before. So one was going like this and mine goes out and in this way. This new screen wants to connect somewhere here, but the old one wants to connect somewhere here. So what I've done is just kind of bent it in a nice way so that um, it comes out. Turns out if I bent it in a different way, it was all jittery. So it didn't work first time I tried it. So I don't really want to go and get a new screen. I just want to put this in and be done with it. Just put the screws back in. It's because I touched the screen, I gotta put some, gonna wipe it a bit. Lens wiping cleaner. Well, it does a pretty good job, actually, if I'm looking at an angle. And the little spots that I left on here are actually coming off. Oh, so since I'm pretty happy with it, I'm going to use the adhesive. Wi-Fi antenna does not have an adhesive, it seems. Okay, I think it's done. Looks good. Okay, so look at that. I did it. Even with a with the wrong version of the front. This looks good. This is the corner where I entered. There's like a little ding right here. After it's on, I guess it's not too noticeable. I also had to go in along these edges. And you can see there's a little ding here also. Overall, pretty good. So that's all I have for today. I know cracking your screen for your iPad is kind of a bummer, but if you can replace it, I actually bought this only for about $15, $10-$15. So that's a really, really cheap way to, to revitalize your iPad. This is my first time doing it, and it took me maybe one or two hours. So thanks for watching this iPad front glass replacement tutorial. Don't forget to click like somewhere over here and subscribe. Thanks for watching.